Korg immediately turned to the Hulk and begged for him for his help. Ronan was serious business, and not only that, but he could wipe the floor with all of them if they didn't prepare to fight. Hulk ignored Korg, and Ronan smiled and picked up a giant club. The Grandmaster said, let the games begin. Ronan slowly made his way to Hulk and Korg. Korg approached Ronan before he was smacked in the face with the club. Ronan stepped on him and was about to swing at his face again before Hulk in time managed to grab the club. Ronan punched Hulk in the face before Hulk enraged lunged at Ronan, beating him without mercy in front of the crowd. The crowd stopped and looked. Hulk took his face before ripping it out, throwing it across the arena. Everyone, including the Grand Master, was shocked at the sight they were seeing. Ronan, a radical Kree warlord, was just beheaded in front of everyone. Hulk smiled before just walking away back in his chambers. Korg ran back with his friend and told Hulk, how he could set all of them free. Hulk ignored them before going to sleep. Two months would go by and Hulk was the most popular fighter in the galaxy. Hulk would kill Ronan in his first fight, but also take on Ravengers, Skrulls, and so many more creatures within the battle arena. The Hulk had one more fight that he needed to win before he, Korg, and Meek were freed from the Grand Master. Hulk came out of the chambers and the doors opened and the crowd chanted his name over and over again. It was like you couldn't hear anything, not even the Grand Master's voice could get by. Hulk was being chanted every time. Hulk declared that his team was called Warbound. Everyone cheered the name before the Grand Master cut off the Hulk and told everyone that their last fight would be against a captain, but not just any captain. It was revealed to be the famous Captain Marvel, who somehow ended up in Scar. Captain Marvel smirked and told Warbound that they didn't need to fight. Before she could get a word out, Hulk rammed her like a truck, beating her face into the metal doors before she flew at Hulk, but Hulk grabbed her by the hands, crushing them before punching her in the face. It didn't do anything. Hulk looked confused, and Captain Marvel punched Hulk. He flew back, but she flew behind Hulk before he hit the floor. She punched him again and again before Hulk flew to the ground beneath Korg and Meek, who were killed in front of him. Hulk's vision was going blurry, but after hearing the screams of his friends dying, Hulk didn't have anything left on this planet. He got back up, blocking the punches from Captain Marvel. Hulk tripped her, but Hulk decided that he wanted revenge and took her by the hair before ripping half of her hair out and breaking her back. Hulk punched her on the ground before the disc broke, but before she could do anything, Hulk took a sword, stabbing it into Captain Marvel's leg before walking away. She was defeated and Hulk won, but it didn't come easy. Hulk paid the price of losing his friends to win the battle. The Grand Master asked Hulk to kill her for his freedom. But before he could do anything, Captain Marvel glowed. She was free from the grips of the Grand Master. Angry for being a slave, Captain Marvel went on a rampage with the full force of her powers. Even the Hulk couldn't believe what was going on. Captain Marvel was damaged from the amount of time spent on Scar. She towered over the Hulk and asked for his help to free the other slaves and destroy the Grand Master. Hulk asked if she was from Earth and she replied, yes. Hulk decided that after she killed his friends, he would only help as a favor for the other slaves, but their fight wasn't over yet. Hulk, along with Captain Marvel, fought their way up to the control room where the Grand Master was. Captain Marvel easily made it to the control room, giving the Hulk a lift. Valkyrie stood in front of the two of them before Captain Marvel brushed her aside and blasted her with a beam, shooting her out of the glass. Hulk looked before she fell to her death. The two of them then turned their attention to the Grand Master, who pleaded not to be killed, but Captain Marvel told him to release everyone and stop the games. He laughed before Hulk snapped his neck, killing him for good. The Grand Master had been defeated. Captain Marvel stood over his dead body and thanked the Hulk for his good deeds. 
She told Hulk that Earth wasn't for him. The way he is, the people of Earth wouldn't want him around. She offered to bring Hulk to a planet that contained no life and that he could live in peace. Hulk yelled, telling her that he needs revenge. Whether he goes with her or not, Hulk was going back to Earth. He said no before Hulk turned his head. In enraged in a close range fight, Captain Marvel flew Hulk to the trash area where the vortex was. She tried to throw Hulk into one of them, but failed. Hulk merely laughed and told her that he was the strongest there is. Hulk took her by the neck before punching her out. Hulk took her body and was about to throw her in it before she revealed the location of Earth in the universe. Hulk thanked her and threw her aside. Everyone cheered Hulk's name, and aliens came out of Scar's trash system and thanked him for saving all of the people of this planet. The Hulk might have freed everyone, but he still had a vengeance. Hulk wanted to take revenge on what happened during Harlem. He wasn't going to stand by fighting for entertainment anymore. The Hulk jumped fast and far towards the Grandmaster's personal ship. Hulk got into the ship before leaving. He took his equipment from the Gladiator matches as a souvenir. Hulk found her through Captain Marvel. Hulk told the AI in the ship that he wanted to head to Earth, leaving the planet. Hulk kept thinking of what happened to him. It kept haunting him, repeating in his head how he lost to Abomination, failed the city, and killed people. If only Ross helped him, they could have taken out Abomination. The Hulk waited to get to Earth, putting his gear on so he could see in the distance he was going to take revenge on Ross. Hydra and Stark. Stark had been the one who had sold Hydra the weapons that caused all of this to happen to him in the first place. All of this made Hulk angrier than he's ever been. It was a one-man army versus the world. Somewhere else, the other had made a deal with Loki after Loki's brother Thor had defeated him on Asgard. Loki was saved by the Mad Titan Thanos. Because of this, he needed to find the Space Stone the Tesseract on Earth. In exchange, Loki would rule Earth with a grand army given to him by Thanos. Loki agreed to the deal and wrecked havoc across Earth, forming the Avengers with the absence of Hulk in this timeline. The Avengers that were made up of Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Hawkeye and Black Widow rallied in New York defending the people. At the same time, Loki opened a portal on Stark Tower that would send in his Jatari army. A clash between the army and the Avengers happened differently. Without the Hulk, the team had a harder time taking down the army but managed. Loki managed to get the Scepter and the Tesseract while Loki was battling with the Avengers. Most of the timeline plays out the same during the Battle of New York until the ship loomed over everything. A massive ship in the sky started coming down on Earth. The Avengers turned their attentions to the ship. Tony tried to scan the ship, but Jarvis said that the technology is out of this world. It was another alien spaceship. The doors to the spaceship opened. Hulk saw the destruction of New York and a massive black portal in the sky. He didn't know what was causing it, but all there was was destruction and bloodshed. Iron Man scanned the doors while they opened, and to his shock, he couldn't believe it. Jarvis said that it was the Hulk. Tony told the team that Hulk has returned. After learning of Hulk causing destruction in Harlem, the team decided to attack him. This made Hulk angrier. Iron Man blasted his ship with his uni-beam. Hulk jumped off of the ship, crashing down below. He walked slowly and saw a group of people. The Avengers stood their ground as this world breaker towered over them. Captain America threw his shield, but made one mistake, and that was not to talk him down. The Hulk used his giant sword to cut through the shield. Iron Man came behind, but Hulk managed to grab him and squeezed the life out of Stark. Hulk remembered that Tony Stark was Iron Man. This caused Hulk to pound and break Iron Man's armor, ripping his mask off in front of the team. Steve Rogers told Hulk to calm down, but their efforts were in vain. The Hulk yelled and he wanted Ross and killed Stark in front of the team. Thor flew his hammer, but Hulk managed to dodge the attack using his two hands to clap. This created a gravity wave that knocked Thor into a wall. His hammer is on the other side of the road, and Fury told Cap what was going on down there. Before Steve could say anything, Hulk charged at them. Cap slid through the Hulk's legs and tried to fight, but Hulk with one hand crushed Captain America's arms 
breaking them. He used his sword to kill Hawkeye and Black Widow. As Steve Rogers crawled his way, he was beheaded in front of Thor. Fury told Thor that he was their last hope, as a nuclear bomb was coming through the city of New York. Thor fled the scene and was able to stop the nuke in time but sacrificed himself in the process once the portal shut down. Eric Selvig had been the one to close the portal in this universe after they lost Black Widow. The Hulk looked from above to see the giant portal leave. At the same time, Loki who was defeated approached Hulk on the battle knowing what he did two years ago in Harlem. Loki tried to trick the Hulk and the plan would work. Loki would capture Ross giving him to Hulk. The Hulk would then murder him in front of everyone on the world stage, while at the same time, Hydra took over S.H.I.E.L.D., killing Nick Fury in the process. Loki and Hulk would rule and enslave everyone on Earth. Six years would pass on Earth. The world had been destroyed with wars. Loki and Hulk became good friends, but years ago, during the Battle of New York, Loki wouldn't repay his part of the bargain. This caused the Mad Titan to appear before them. A massive ship shot a beam down below New York City. Hulk and Loki on their thrones watched as the Mad Titan had been awaiting Loki. He looked around but could only see a broken down city. Hulk smashed the gates of his throne room and stood outside the doors. Thanos met him there. Thanos asked if he was Hulk of Scar. Hulk smirked and told him to leave now as he picked up a sword. As the two were about to get into a fight, a massive orange portal opened in front of the two. Thanos and Hulk turned to see robots marching through the portal until one giant robot with all of the Infinity Stones and a cape told everyone not to worry and that this world would be free. That is going to be it for what if World War Hulk had happened within the MCU timeline and what if it had been Edward Norton's 2008 Hulk. Although I could have done more with Hulk in this timeline, I really wanted to show his raw power against the Avengers by catching them all off guard and defeating them swiftly. If you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure to check out the Patreon as supporting the channel will continue to make me upload these videos. What is the next Marvel's What If? Stay tuned as there will be tons more coming your way. But if you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure to subscribe, like, share, and turn your notifications on so you and your friends are all up to date with latest content. Anyways, as always, guys, thanks for tuning in, and have a fantastic day.